what's up? What's going on, y'all? Um, so, just kind of heading home uh, from work here. And, you know, I just wanted to kind of touch, uh, touch base or kind of give my more direct opinion on what's going on with the uh, Traxxas uh, ordeal um, with the small companies and, and what was going on. Uh, I'm not really going to name anybody specific in this video because it's kind of not my place to bring them into it. Um, but I'm sure you know who you know it is by now if you followed it um, and who they are and what the companies are and all that stuff. So first and foremost, um, Traxxas is well within their legal right to exercise these copyrights. They're they are well within their legal right to do so. Um, I think the biggest problem people have is that they're known for doing these types of things. Um, and it, it's petty. You know, I, you know, that's my personal opinion too. It's you know, it's, you know, these, these people, uh, these companies, and I've, you know, looked through their stuff. I've bought stuff from them. Um, they're not advertising these aftermarket parts as a Traxxas factory part. Um, you'd, you'd be far fetched to make the assumption it is a factory Traxxas part. Um, Honestly, you know, let's, you know, I, I've gone through these myself and I look at it, you know, if I'm going to go to, you know, ABC RC and specifically looking for something for a TRX4M, which is what they're, uh, you know, what seems to be going towards, um, I'm not going to expect it to be a factory part. Uh, you know, but that's, I mean, that's just me, I guess. I, I don't know. But, you know, I just think it's not really, you know, it's not conducive, uh, to the hobbies, uh, health in a whole, uh, as a whole. Um, you know, I wouldn't expect this from, you know, Axial or, you know, Red Cat, she's Red Cat. They just give you free STLs, print that you want. Um, you know, stuff like that, you know, companies that kind of, uh, really do support the aftermarket and, and that's how a lot of these companies will go in and you'll notice sometimes, you know, it's not exactly what you want when they drop a new release, whatever, but you can tell that they were looking at what people were doing with their product and, oh, cool. You know, they say support the aftermarket. Now that gives them an idea to release a new version of that product or an entirely new, you know, model. You know what I'm saying? So, I guess, you know, why would you want to hinder that in any way, shape, and form? And I get it, you know, it's, you know, like, you know, if you're listing something and it says, you know, Traxxas, TRX4, skid plate. I guess... Maybe that could be misconstrued that it might be a factory part. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You'd have to, you know, really kind of be in... Have to really kind of... I don't know. Be kind of far-fetched to think that. But that it is, it's what they're doing. And, you know, like I said, they're well within their legal right to do so. It's not, you know, they're not breaking laws. They're not doing anything. But, you know, they're... conducting business as far as this concerns and I guess uh, you know uh, uh, not quite a moral way um, which is they have the right to do that um, and that's what I've seen a lot of people because I've been kind of going through in my off time at work you know breaks and stuff just kind of poking through I, I listen to a lot of you know people and read a lot of people's statements about this and how they feel and you have 
one side of the fence where, you know, it's about money, this is a business, this is that, you know, and I, 100%, yes, this is, you know, they're not doing this for free, they're doing this to make money, um, however, you know, they're the only ones that are doing this type of stuff, um, you know, it's, it's one of those, as far as copyrights go, um, you know, if you blatantly rip off a product and you sell it as your own, yeah, sure, I get that, you're protecting it, but geez, you know, wording, uh, you know, language on a website, you know, I don't know, maybe they could have just said, hey, we'd appreciate if you say, you know, change your wording. Something simple, reach out instead of, you know, pulling the cease and desist orders and all that stuff and, you know, whatever. But, you know, we also all know that that is their ML. That's that's how they've done things uh, with ATPI, with Arma, um, HBO Max. That was, that, that yeah, the HBO Max uh, lawsuit or whatever that was, was just, that was, that really, you know, kind of put me, made me laugh honestly. Um, but you know, and this is the things, you know, a lot of people like, ah, you're just trash talking them. You're just doing this. You know, why don't you, you know, whatever. And you know, to be honest, there was a point when I did get the TRX 4M, uh, which, you know, I didn't get for free or anything. I bought it, but you know, that I thought, you know what? They're all RCs. They're all, it's all in the hobby. This is great. You know, and I got it and be honest I like it I do like it they did very well with it and I'll give you know credit where credit's due but you know here we are again doing the same thing and it doesn't affect me it doesn't hurt me um it doesn't hurt anybody except for those you know that kind of got their website shut down in particular um and, and there are people that got their website suspended or whatever the case um, I know some are back up and running. That's great. And it just, those are the little guys, you know, and I am really a big uh, supporter of shopping small business. You want to, you know, you shop local, shop small, and I try to do that so much. Um, I try to, you know, go to my local hobby shops. I have two. One's a hobby town and one is uh, privately owned. Um, well, the hobby town's privately owned, but it's a hobby town. But, you know, then, and I go to them, uh, you know, as much as I possibly can. Uh, sometimes, you know, you'll see I do have some, you know, cheap Chinese stuff that you just got to, you got to bit get stuff online, you know, and that's, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, I, I try really hard to um, support local business and small businesses. And this isn't something that you would do if you supported that, if you supported the aftermarket, if you supported the, the diversity of the hobby, I don't think that you would do this and you know if you look at companies like Horizon in general you know Axial and all them you know they, they've said a lot you know we, we support the aftermarket we you know we you know they they, they want the aftermarket because it gives them ideas of what to do and what we want you know from these you know the ready to runs you know these stock trucks so you know well that said I mean I'm not going to bash the hell out of Traxxas. I mean, whatever. Um, but I, I will, you know, I'm sure, you know, people want to hear opinions. They love to go on here. And I'm sure I'm going to get some, I'm going to get some plaque for this. Always. I'm going to get people in a comment and said, oh man, I agree with you. You got people that are going to comment and be like, oh, you know, you're just, you know, you're, you're an Arma fanboy or something or, you know, Axial or whatever. <laughs> I'm like, oh, actually it's team associated, but <laughs> you know, I'm not a fanboy. I have everything from eBay or Amazon RCs to Chinese WPL HBX. Uh, you know, I got an ECX. I got the Granite, the Red Cat, the RC four wheel drive. Whatever. You know, I got them all. You know. So honestly, I, I just don't like Traxxas because of uh, you know what their their business practices. And this is a prime example. I want to support a company. I don't know me not buying a Slash or me not buying a TRX4 isn't hurting them, but it's my own thing. I just, you know, I want to support companies that support the hobby as, as a whole and the aftermarket and the small little guys making these parts, these little 3D printed parts, you know, these one, two, three, four man operations. 
you know, and they're coming out with some very innovative stuff. Look at Flub RC with the, you know, the flubber stuffers and the tire inserts. That is, you know, that is cool. You know, you're, they're, they're just coming out with innovative stuff and innovation. It's what we need in this hobby. But, you know, I'm almost home and uh, I'm hungry. I worked 12 hours today. So I'm going to leave you with that. And, you know, sorry, this is uh, not a, you know, in my pro mode. So if you're watching on a TV, it's going to be like you're watching a phone. But, you know, it's on a phone. I'm driving right now. And, uh, you know, with that said, you know, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. You know, like I said, I, you know, not trying to drag anybody through the dirt, but this is my opinion. And as Traxxas is entitled and to do what they do, I'm entitled to have my opinion, as is everybody else. So, with that said, like and subscribe. Uh, you know, drop in the comments whatever you want to see. Don't want to see, don't want to hear me talk about random stuff while driving my 2000 Chevy Blazer. Oops, I said a brand name. Um, anyway, so y'all have a good one. Have fun out there. Build some cool stuff bash around whatever you got to do in this hobby just keep it friendly this is we're all we're all in it together all right so all right have a good one y'all